The work that I do at TRAC at Syracuse University is very data heavy. We get a lot of data from the federal government, more than 4 billion uh, records a year, digital records a year. We get a lot of data. Um, but I, so we do a lot of big data research, but then I also do a lot of very grounded qualitative work, interviews, ethnography, those kinds of things, just getting out and talking to people for research purposes. And for me, putting those two things together um, is sort of the most impart, uh, important and exciting part of the job. Uh, how did you get into it? Did you just kind of fall into it or it, how, how did it come about this particular topic? So, so niche, even though it's vast. Yeah. Uh, well, so right out of high school, I joined the Navy um, and I was, I was sent to Puerto Rico. So I was in Puerto Rico working in the Navy for four years um, and love the experience. But um, this was, you know, in the two, early 2000s. So this was, you know, 9-11 and then right after 9-11, um, and as a, as a very young person in the military at that time, I, I really was encountered, encountering big questions about politics and culture and religion and, you know, and all these big questions. Um, and so I got really interested then when I went to college, I was, I really wanted to unpack these things and just think about, you know, to put it very briefly, race, space, and power was, was kind of what I was interested in. Um, and so I fell in with an advisor, Dr. Matthew Coleman at the Ohio State University, who's an immigration scholar, political geographer, and just found that this 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 area of immigration um, just allows you to ask so many global questions about how climate change is changing migration patterns and forcing people out of you know where they live due to sea level rise and and uh, an impact on farming and agriculture and all of that all the way down to individual stories. Um, and I, I like that whole spectrum of the human experience. I don't like staying just in data or just in, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of interviews. I like to kind of 